thanks to Sassen, we know more about the Holocaust than, than much more than we would know if, if, it, if those sessions hadn't existed. Because of this adventurous spirit he seems to have had, dreamt up this absolutely insane idea, which to any other mind, but he decided, since he knew Eichmann, that he could sit down with Eichmann and write would be the, the journalistic scoop of the century. Whatever way it came out, he would tell the story. This was something that no other Nazi in Argentina is willing to do. And this is what sets Sassen apart. And uh, He wasn't going to tell the story because he felt the, fall the Holocaust was necessarily evil, but just because he thought it was a good story to tell. It, and it's amazing that Eichmann accepted to speak. I mean, uh, uh, Sassen must have had tremendous powers of persuasion. At that time, Sassen worked for Der Weg, which was a magazine written by Nazi expatriates in Argentina. This magazine was banned in Europe, the it was banned in Germany, but it still had tremendous circulation all over Germany, they were circulating. He, he became very close to a man called Hans Ulrich Rudel, who was a, 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 an ace of the Luftwaffe, and who became, because of that reason, he was a, a war hero, became very close to Peron. Um, so he very quickly landed on his feet, and he very quickly had very close contact with Peron. Uh, and we know that he, that, that in the ensuing years, he was walking in and out of Peron's presidential office with no problem. He was like a lightning rod that attracted other war criminals who were in Argentina to meet at the ABC, the ABC, which is a, uh, which is a restaurant that still exists here in Buenos Aires. There's something very pathetic about the figure of Eichmann. Even during the Reich, even during the war, Eichmann was a man who the other SS men felt was inferior. Het is 11 mei 1960, vandaag precies 45 jaar geleden. Mossad-agenten pakken Adolf Eichmann op als hij thuis komt van zijn werk. This was a street where Eichmann was kidnapped in 1960. He was coming from work on the bus. Mossad agents were waiting for him in the dark. They knocked him to the ground, threw him into a car, and took him to Israel. There's one version of the story that says that Sassen buried the tapes in his garden. Then there's another version of the story that says I, the Sassen gave the tapes to a friend of his, a man called Dieter Menge, who was another Nazi officer. What we do know is that Sassen had to leave Argentina and hide in Paraguay for a while because of fears of reprisals from the Nazi community.